Hi everyone, my name is Dr. Shantanu Ganguly. Welcome to my life page. Today I'll talk about library information science. Before getting into it, let me introduce myself uh, with my qualifications. I have BSc Honours in Botany, MSc in Environmental Science, Masters in Business Administration, Bachelors in Library Information Science, Masters in Library Information Science, Postgraduate Diploma in Computer Applications and then PhD in Information Products and Services. I am working in this profession for the last 27 years. I started my journey in 1990 when I, my first assignment was in Delhi University. Library Information Science is a subject which deals not only with the libraries, the management, the collection, the selection, the processing and the entire overall universe of knowledge which is there. It talks about that. How do you provide the different kinds of information products or a service to different users with the right time in a right format? Now, most important thing is that in this particular profession, what are the different kinds of you know subjects you will be you know very much you like to look into one of the important components how do you manage the libraries how do you manage the professionals who are involved in the libraries the different professionals who are working in the libraries how do you look into the different library automation or the emerging technologies which are coming or it is useful for the libraries what are the different kinds of collection, selection, different kinds of administrative, operational processes which are involved in the libraries? You will come to know about that. How do you get your enormous amount of resources from different areas? That is also a very, very important thing. So this entire thing is a very important component as far as the library information science is concerned. Some of the emerging technologies which is taking playing a very very important role as far as the library information science technology is concerned like for example your augmented reality, virtual reality, then big data analytics, then different types of you know predictive analytics, different kinds of 3D printing processes which are extremely important and getting a niche in different kinds of libraries to address the needs of the users. Repackaging. Why repackaging is important? Because you will collect, collate information from different sources. But you cannot overload the user with all those resources because the user wants very pinpointed information. So what you need to do, you have to go into the resources which you have collected for him, the different kinds of information which you have collected to him, you have to re-look at it, revisit it several times and then repackage it in a much more value-added format and then you provide the service to that particular person you develop an array of knowledge on a particular area. Like for example, I am currently working in the field of energy, environment and sustainable development. So while working in the library information center, I have developed an array of knowledge in the energy environment sectors and their different emerging areas which are coming up in a big way. Sometimes when you come across any irrational user, very difficult queries, how do you handle them? If you are not from a scientific background, sometimes it is very difficult to understand the need of the user. The first thing is that I mark the newspapers with the, because I know my users are looking for some information on a very specific area. The second thing I take a round in the library because I have to see all my infrastructures, 
are in place it is properly cleaned everywhere so once i have taken a round in the library i direct my persons i find that there is a some kind of a lacuna or some kind of you know cleanliness or some kind of a changes is required i discuss that matter with my other colleagues and then i tell them that we have to do this 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 and then i direct my other people also to take over from there then i meet all my library information science professionals who are working on a very specific area and this is how it continuously goes into the entire systems of in a day in my life so i think i have given you a balanced overview of the library information science subject as well as how this profession is progressing currently in the current context thank you very much